The Northern Wei is a country existed in northern and southern dynasties. It is founded by Tuo Ba Clan of the Xianbei. If you are familiar with Chinese last name, you easily know Northern Wei royal family isn't Han Chinese. The Northern Wei is founded by Tuo Ba Gui in 386. In 409, Tuo Ba Gui decided to promote his oldest son, Tuo Ba Si, as the crown prince. Before the formal promotion, Tuo Ba Gui killed Tuo Ba Si's biological mother, noble lady Liu, then a very cruel rule called Zi Gui Mu Si started. Zi Gui Mu Si means before a prince is promoted to the crown prince, his biological mother must be killed. This rule existed in Northern Wei for about a hundred years and was cancelled by Wei Xuan Wu Di, the Emperor Xuan Wu of Northern Wei. In ancient China, Han Chinese controlled dynasties, followed Di Zhangzi, Ji Chengzi, which means the emperor's oldest son has absolute priority in inheriting the throne. Xianbei people didn't follow this rule. They believed the, the leader was the most powerful people. Besides, in Xianbei society, women had more powers than Han Chinese society. Xianbei noble women were eager to participate in state affairs. During the process of founding Northern Wei, Tuo Ba Gui got lots of help from his mother's clan and his imperial women's clan. But he also felt his powers were limited by those help. To eliminate the threat from Emperor's biological mother, Tuo Ba Gui decided to learn from the Emperor Wu of Han, kill the crown prince's mother. In 409, Tuo Ba Gui decided to promote his oldest son, Tuo Ba Si, as the crown prince. Before the formal promotion, Tuo Ba Gui killed Tuo Ba Si's biological mother, noble lady Liu. Up on getting the news, Tuo Ba Si was sad and scared. He quickly escaped. Then, Tuo Ba Gui had to promote his second son, Tuo Ba Shao. Tuo Ba Shao was born by Lady He. Lady He was from He Lan clan. She was Tuo Ba Gui's mother's little sister. One year, Tuo Ba Gui visited the He Lan clan. In there, he met his beautiful aunt and fell in love with her. Unfortunately, this beautiful girl already married, but Tuo Ba Gui didn't care. He secretly murdered his aunt's husband and married his aunt, who was the future Lady He. Maybe because Tuo Ba Gui loved the Lady He very much, after arrested her, Tuo Ba Gui didn't kill her immediately. This gave Lady He an opportunity to save herself. Lady He asked someone to inform her son, Tuo Ba Shao. Tuo Ba Shao wasn't a good person, but he was a good son. Up on getting the news, he led some soldiers to kill his father and saved his mother. One month later, Tuo Ba Si came back under the support of other Tuo Ba clan members. Tuo Ba Si killed his little brother and Lady He. 
that he inherited the throne. This is the re record in Northern Way's official historical documents, but I don't believe it. First, in Emperor Wu of Han's story, Han Wu Di did kill the Lady Gou Yi, then promoted her son to the crown prince. Unfortunately, Han Di's plan didn't work. The crown prince inherited the throne as the Emperor Zhao of Han at age 8, too young to personally manage the court. The court was controlled by a powerful government officer, Huo Guang. Han Zhao Di died at age 21. Second, the biological mother of the crown prince maybe is only a consort. The empress of the late emperor could become the emperor's daughter and control the court. In Northern Wei Dynasty, this commonly happened. In my opinion, I guess the story is like this. Tuo Bagui was a great emperor, but according to the historical documents, in her old age, he used a drug called Han Shi San. So he always killed someone for no reason. One day, Tuo Bagui killed the noble lady Liu by accident. Tuo Ba Si was scared and escaped. Tuo Ba Gui arresting Lady He wasn't because he wanted to promote Tuo Ba Shao. Tuo Ba Shao was a monster. When he was 10 years old, he saw a pregnant woman and wanted to know the baby was boy or girl. So he killed the woman and got out the baby. Tuo Ba Gui really hated this son and one day almost killed him. The following day of killing his father, Tuo Ba Shao forced government officers to support him to become the new emperor. Unfortunately, Tuo Ba Si came back on time and killed Tuo Ba Shao. Now, here was a problem. Tuo Ba Gui didn't publicly announce Tuo Ba Si was the crown prince. And Tuo Ba Gui has other signs. Tuo Ba Si should prove he was legally inherited the throne. If Tuo Ba Gui killed the noble lady Liu for promoting the crown prince, Tuo Ba Gui implied Tuo Ba Si was the crown prince. Then Tuo Ba Si could legally inherit the throne. Later, killing crown prince's biological mother policy was used by Empress Dowager to kill her potential competitors. That's why this policy existed for a hundred years. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.